Tampa police say they have a person in custody and are interviewing him after a deadly hit and run in New Tampa. A father and his two sons were on a bike ride this afternoon when they were hit. Now the father is dead and his three-year-old son is still in the hospital. This all happened around noon near the intersection of New Tampa Boulevard and Wood Sage Drive. As 10 News reporter Isabel Mascarenas tells us, police didn't waste a second trying to track down the suspected driver. But it wasn't enough to keep them safe from the driver of this four-door maroon Dodge Avenger. They were on a bike path. They were completely off the road. This car, we believe, according to witnesses, veered off the road and struck this family. According to police, 42-year-old new Tampa father Pedro Garibari died. His three-year-old son Bennett was riding on an extension attached to the back of his bike is in serious condition. But thankfully, his eight-year-old son Lucas was riding his own bike and had minor injuries. This has been a life-changing event for them, and we are very upset, very concerned for them. Investigators suspected the car would still be in the area. Their search led them to the car abandoned on Regents Park Drive in the Pebble Creek subdivision. Forensics team spent hours gathering evidence off the front end and bumper area. Police say the windshield was smashed. Police have a man in custody. In Tampa, Isabel Mascarenas, 10 News. As of now, Tampa PD isn't calling the person in custody a suspect. They're interviewing him to figure out what his role, if any, may have been. And we expect to have an update in the morning.